The Holy Tales. Once there was an old man who had a very long beard. His name was Noah. Noah worshipped and obeyed God all the time. He was the only good man in the whole neighborhood. So one day God spoke to him. Noah, you are a good man, and I would like you to go away from all the selfish and mean people who are now around you. I will need you to build an ark right away, and after you are done building it, I will make it rain for forty days and forty nights. There will be a huge flood, but your family, your animals, and you will be safe in the ark. What is an ark, Holy? An ark is a big boat, which is very wide, very long, and very, very tall. And it is made out of very special wood. Oh! Hearing this from God, Noah went looking for his wife and said, we quickly need to gather food, blankets, and hay for the animals as soon as we can. God said there's going to be a great flood with lots and lots of rain, and that too for a very long time. What? But how are we going to live through a great flood? Do not worry about that. I'm going to build a huge ark and our family and animals are going to be absolutely safe in it. We should hurry and get started with the preparations. So Noah started building the ark. The ark was very big. It was tall, long and very wide. It had a window and a big huge door. His neighbors thought Noah had gone crazy for building such a huge boat. Why is Noah building this enormous boat? There's no sign of water anywhere. No rivers, no oceans, nothing. <laughs> the moment Noah finished building the ark, clouds started covering the sky. Noah heard God's voice again. Noah! It's time to go. Gather all your animals, your family, and get inside the ark. So Noah followed God's orders. He gathered two of every animal in sight and went inside the ark with his family. God then shut the door of the ark. Noah and his family could see from the ark how the sky outside was getting darker and darker. Everything outside was becoming quiet and scary. Suddenly, Noah heard a drop of rain fall into the ground. Then came down the second drop, the third one, then another and another. Soon, the drops became bigger and louder, and they came down faster and faster, and the rain turned into a huge storm. After two days of heavy rainfall, the ark started to float, and soon it was in the middle of a large ocean. It rained and rained for forty days and forty nights, just like God said it would. Then after forty days and forty nights, the rain finally stopped. The sun began to shine again. So, Noah sent out a dove, but the dove came back to the ark, not being able to find any dry land. After a few days, he sent out the dove once again. This time, it came back with a leaf. For the third time, he released the dove. Days went by, but the dove never came back. Noah was very happy. He cried. Finally, the storm is over. I think it is safe to come out now. 
Let's open the door and get out. Noah and his family and all the animals marched out from the ark onto the dry land. There was nothing and no one else around. Noah realized that this was the new neighborhood that God was talking to him about. We have a lot of work to do in this new neighborhood. We better get started. Yes, but we first need to give God an offering to show how thankful we are for saving us from the great flood. So, Noah gave God an offering and God was very, very pleased with him. Oh, how I love this story. Yeah, me too. The Holy Tales Well, today's story is about a man named Samson, who was very, very strong, and all his strength was a gift from God. Long, long ago, in Israel, lived a man named Manoah. He and his wife had no children. One day, an angel appeared to Manoah's wife. The angel said, You will soon give birth to a child. But remember one thing. His hair should never be cut. Your child will be very special, as he will be chosen by God. One day, he shall rule Israel. During this time, the people had left God out of their lives. They thought they could take care of themselves and not need God's help. What they did not realize was that they would soon need Him to help them. The people of Israel began to get bullied by their enemies, the Philistines. The Israelites prayed to God, and God heard them and he sent this chosen baby to Manoah's wife. Manoah's wife gave birth to a beautiful little boy, and she named him Samson. As Samson grew up, the Lord blessed him. He became one of the strongest men in the world. Once when Samson was young, a lion attacked him. Samson was filled with God's power and he was able to defeat and kill the lion with his bare hands. The Philistines' cruelty over the Israelites grew more and more every day. This made Samson very angry and he planned a revenge. Samson caught hold of 300 foxes and tied their tails together two by two. Then he placed flaming torches between them and released the foxes in the grain fields of the Philistines. Samson's action made the Philistines very, very angry and now they wanted revenge for their losses. As per his plans, Samson let himself be caught, tied up and taken away by the Philistines to be killed. He knew God was there to help him. Soon after his capture, the Spirit of God came upon Samson. He became stronger than ever. He broke loose of the ropes which kept him tied, picked up a fresh jawbone of a dead donkey, and with it killed a thousand of the Philistines and escaped. Philistine soldiers went out searching for him, and once again, Samson was captured. The soldiers put him in a city and locked the city gates. But God's strength and power was in Samson, and he walked out carrying the city gates on his shoulders. But soon, Samson failed God by disobeying him. Samson told his wife Delilah all about the secret of his strength. Samson did not know that Delilah was a Philistine spy. After finding out his secret, Delilah called in a barber and shaved off Samson's hair while he was asleep. It was then 
that the Philistines attacked Samson in his bedroom. Samson tried his best to fight hard, but his strength was all gone. The Philistines blinded him. The enemies captured the blind and weak Samson and made him their slave. They laughed and made fun of him, who was once God's servant. Soon after all this, the Philistines held a feast to celebrate Samson's defeat. They called for him to perform for them and entertain them. A boy brought Samson and let him lean on the pillars which held up the palace where the Philistines were having their feast. There were more than 3,000 Philistines in the room who all went on making fun of him. But Samson's hair had started to grow back while he was in prison. He prayed to God. O oh Lord, give me strength this one last time so that I can take revenge for my lost sight. With all the faith in God straining and heaving, Samson forced the huge pillars apart. The entire place came crashing down in ruins, killing thousands of Philistines and Samson. Well, this story is so, so exciting. I wish I was as strong as Samson. You would be if you had lots and lots of spinach. Ew, I hate spinach. Then it's difficult to become as strong as Samson. You've got to eat healthy to be strong. I promise. From today I will. I will be strong too, just like Samson. Oh yes, of course, Freckles. All right, kids. Be back soon. It's time for me to take a short nap. Bye-bye. Bye, Holly. Sleep well. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the